What's up? We're here working really hard. I haven't shaved. We're in quarantine right now. But good news is I got my One Punch Man shirt and we ran out of battery. So we're going to head out into zombie land and kind of see what's up. Can we find toilet paper? Let's go take a look. Just found out that there was toilet paper at Canadian Tire. Um, we don't have too much left, so we're gonna see what's up with our luck here today. I know that was part of the mission to figure it out if we could find some. And so we're going. And you know, usually it's at the places that are people don't really think about. So I'm just hoping this is not like a stupid issue later, you know, but that people will just take what they need. And so we're coming down to the need part before uh, we gotta go to old ways and, and Jao yeah, was saying we have a lot of socks and he was saying that we have a lot of um, coffee um, coffee, filters. coffee filters so I guess that was the old ways if not you know um, Jao said he could just go and grab some snow outside I don't know what that's about but we're trying to figure it out. So, I've got a package in the mail today, and the crazy thing is, it's from China. Can you see that? The Zigzulu Village District, China. So, I'm assuming that they screened everything before, but we'll show you what this package is when, uh, when we get back to the office. This guy. The crypto revolution. If you guys don't know, in the background, uh, me and Jao, we do a lot of um, cryptocurrency trading from home. So if you guys want to learn that, hit us up because we all have to figure out how to be creative from home right now. Anyway, let's continue on our journey. I think they have a uh, toilet paper at Canadian Tire. Maybe. They have toilet paper at Staples. Staples, Home Depot. So we just made it to Walmart here. We're gonna go check it out. Check out if they have any, you know, toilet paper, pasta. Me right now, I'm kind of uh, nervous going in here, paranoid. A lot of times when things like this happen, a lot of people, a lot of things go through their mind, stuff like this. So, <laughs> all right, let's check it out. Our fridge is kind of getting empty, so we gotta fill up and we're kind of looking for some healthy options here. Can I so, I just got kicked out of the uh, Walmart because they have policies in place that don't allow us to record. Yeah, so Pat's gonna be going. I can't really. Oh, someone just about got run over. It was crazy. <laughs> Rang. <laughs> that was crazy. That guy just about ran over that girl. Yeah, I just got kicked out of this uh, Walmart. I don't know. I guess it's against the rules for them for us to uh, be recording. Oh, yeah. So, luckily, we still have our phones. <laughs> so. I just came back from outside and uh, I was thinking like what is it that that happens that when we experience some drama in our lives did we create that by our thoughts so there's like no toilet paper there's no toilet paper limit of one and there's nothing limit one per person it isn't even real we have success so no toilet paper, but there's still a lot of batteries. Mm. Well, yeah, got some food. I think it'll last us about another three days. Mm. So I think kind of the most part of this thing is just staying home, staying inside, social distancing from everybody. Um, 
I want to see how crazy my res uh, mustache could grow over this time. Actually, it's already bugging me. I might have to <laughs> shave it off. But, uh, getting home and we'll figure out what's in the mysterious china box. What came from there? Hopefully it's not a um, uh, Hudson Bay blanket or something like that. So, here we go. I noticed as well with the people, everyone seems to be a little bit on edge and a little bit more stressed than usual. I'm not sure if it's because of the, you know, what's going on right now or if it's just everyone staying in, indoors too much, but who knows? That's what, what I've noticed, but I could be wrong, you know? Yeah, we're right here. So I guess I grab all the groceries. Uh, carrying all the stuff. There, we'll, see right now. we'll get the rest of the groceries here. So this is probably gonna be like a couple trips if I have the camera. So I'm just gonna stop recording for now. Yeah. Eee, look at what I got. Two hours later. The whole reason we went out to Zombieland was to get some batteries. So now he's ready to rip, rip, rip. Now ready he's to ready rock and to roll to work. So there we go. Jao has hey. a bunch of um, videos he's working on, editing for Power Times. Uh, what worked really well yesterday was our our one hour of Power. It had so much views, uh, uh, going on forty thousand views, a lot of engagement. So now we're doing the same thing for healing with uh, jingle dress. So women's jingle will come out today. Uh, freaking snakes. Oh, uh, dogs. Oh, okay. This one reminds it uh, garbage. <laughs> Just kidding. China. All right, broski, grab the scissors behind you. Slap them this way. Also, we have Mr. Jackson Tehuka. What's up, guys? All right. We're officially in the first days of quarantine. Opening boxes from China. Oh, I ordered. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Hey, oh, hey, interesting. All right. Red beautiful hackle. Some more red beautiful hackle. Red, red, and <laughs> no purple. I thought I had purple. Bro. Oh my goodness. No sample either. And that's what we got. 